Hello, sisters and brothers here at St. Matthew's. I'm sending a video this week because we have two brand new offerings for St. Matthew's coming up in the next few days that I want you to be aware of and have a sense of their meaning uh, for you. The first is on this very Sunday, uh, October 31st at 9.15 a.m., we'll be having a new kind of worship and Eucharist service. We're calling it Village Church. It is worship for all ages, and it will be happening outside in the Memorial Garden. So that if you've been wary about coming to inside church uh, on, uh, in person, like a lot of our families have with their unvaccinated children, or if you'd like to have a less formal service of worship, this is for you. But actually, I want to invite everybody in the church to give this a shot. Um, because what we're discovering is that the church is a unique place in our society where we can go and build intergenerational community, where we can build a community where the youngest are formed by the oldest and the oldest are given life by the youngest and everyone in between. We're discovering that joy happens when we bring our generations together and, and make spaces for them to mix. We're discovering that worship is more lively. We're discovering that better formation happens uh, because uh, while I can wax theological about the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, for instance, uh, it takes a whole nother kind and level of formation to be able to talk with a 10 year old about what that means for them. Village Church will be happening this Sunday, 9.15 a.m. in the Memorial Garden. Come along, give it a shot. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. The second thing is All Souls Day. Now, in the windows behind me, it still looks pretty green, but some trees are changing. The uh, churchyard is actually turning a little bit crimson, a little bit gold. And uh, this time of year, as the leaves change and fall, it feels very much like a liminal time. Like, as nature begins to recede into its winter sleep, it seems like our lives here are closer to the life beyond. Like the veil between this world and the next is a bit thinner. It feels like an eerie time, a sacred time, a mysterious time. Fall is so poignant in that way. And so it's no surprise that we have Halloween in the, in the, in the fall and we have All Saints Day when we celebrate the saints. But we also have on November 2nd, the day after All Saints Day usually is, we have All Souls Day. And All Souls Day, in this liminal time of autumn, when the next life seems really close to this life, when heaven and earth seem especially uh, close and transparent to each other, uh, All Souls Day is a time where we intentionally, as a church, remember all those who have gone before us into God's mercy and God's light. Those in our parish family, those in our churchyard, those in our own families and our own lives. All those who have gone before us in the great surrender uh, of death and yielded themselves to God's mercy and love and light. On All Souls Day, Jason Wright, our acting director of music, and the choir, and myself, are going to be offering a special service to support and to inspire you in this kind of recollection of all those who have gone before you. It will be choral evensong in the Anglican tradition at 7 p.m. Now this is one of the most beautiful services we have in our Anglican tradition, Choral Evensong, and I'm thrilled that Jason and the choir are putting this together for us to offer you. 
as a place of profound beauty, a time of beauty, I should say, a service of solemnity and quiet joy for you to bring the memories of those who have gone before you, to know how close you are to them, to recognize your hope for them and your hope for yourself in your future life with them and with God. And in fact, to be held in the sorrow and the joy and the memories of all that those relationships have meant to you. So, Village Church, this Sunday, 9.15 a.m. in the Memorial Garden. All Souls Day Choral Evensong, 7 p.m. in the church, Tuesday, November 2nd. I hope you'll come along and make an effort to come to these. These are really uh, extraordinary worship services, and uh, I'm just happy, just happy that we can offer them to the parish. God bless.